10.30 in the morning, I finally got some sleep. I was up around 9. It's in bed pretty much when I said, so. Got a good 7 hours there. It's, uh, necessary. Was that a J? Blue J? You can't see. All I can see is the ass of that. Yeah, it's a blue J. They're actually somewhat rare around here. Anyways, um, I wanted to draw attention to all of this wood that my landlord came and dropped off here. I don't know why. I suppose we'll find out soon enough. Um, I got a, I got a response back on the fan. They claimed they'll fix it today. I kind of like to know what they're up to, though. Um, is there wood back here, too? They had a, uh, a battery went there. They had a, um, like a little, uh, trailer of something. I wonder if I could take a walk around back. I'm, I'm about to do some laundry. Um, let's take a walk around back to see what I can see if there's anything back there. I can tell you what I'm worried about, and this is paranoid and silly, but what if they're going to take all that wood and board up the window, sorry, board up the uh, windows on me here. That would be, um, <laughs> well, I mean, it, it would be completely illegal. Um, I would need to, I would need to sue them if they were to do that. And that would be a real lawsuit, um, with, with, uh, serious claims. Um, it's a consequence of serious damage, um, but I mean I don't. I, I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that that's just being that's just silly paranoia. I don't I don't have a clue. I mean they could it's, it's a bunch of two by fours. They could be doing anything with it, right? They could be installing a heat pump, um, and I suspect that. Uh, When I moved in here, um, they tried to convince me to take a heat pump. And what I told them was, well, a heat pump is an air conditioning system. Basically, like, in this climate, a heat pump is an air conditioning system, right? Um, and I don't want an air conditioner. So you can install a heat pump if you want, but I'm just going to keep the windows open. Um, and you can install a heat pump if you want, but I'm still going to need to use the, the heat in, in summer. Sorry, heat in the winter. So it was always just like, this is not, not a worthwhile thing. And I actually convinced them not to do it. I convinced them that it was uh, kind of a stupid waste of money. But I think, it, I think the upstairs tenant wanted it, right? And he wanted it because it's an air conditioner. He wanted central air conditioning, right? Um, now that his daughter owns the property, um, I, I suppose there's a higher chance he's going to get what he wants uh, in regards to that. It's not going to change my view at all. I'm still going to just open the window. And in fact, if it gets really bad, I'll open the window that much more often, but... Well, I mean, the, the windows are going to be open all summer. I know that already, right? So it's, uh, well, I mean, that's, that's what I like. I, I, I like the windows open. It's, uh, my ideal, um, outcome. You anyway, know, so yeah, I'm, I'm cleaning. I just wanted to point out the, uh, the wood there. Um, the weekend, um, taking a turn um, very much for the worse um, I may not go out on Saturday at all um, from what I'm looking at in fact even tomorrow um, is looking a little bit iffy if it's if I, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a sweater tomorrow at the very least right so um, 
may want to save my money for warmer days. I'm going to listen to the thing more, a little bit more closely. It seemed a lot of fun, right? Uh, Quasi-technical guitarist. I missed them last year. I think I was at a cash. I can't remember exactly. Or I might have been just a little bit... Uh, I, I I ended up staying... I went to a show in Ottawa that night. Sorry, it's a show, a show in Windsor. Excuse me. I went to a show in Windsor that night. Instead. And I can't remember what my laws are for. But, um... I know I was, I, I, I was thinking about it. I, I think, uh... Maybe I didn't listen as closely as I could have. Um, I think maybe I thought I was a little bit more techy. Anyways, um... But, it, but then again, I stayed in Windsor to see a techno. I think my logic was that if I'm going to see this techno or that techno, I might as well stay here because at least... Um, no, no, wait. No, I, yeah. I do actually remember more clearly now it was a cash thing. Yeah. Because that was the night that I went to get the... Uh, I don't want to get the Mickey there. And I made it, and I dumped it in my coffee because I didn't want to spend a lot of money at the bar. So it was a money thing. But I'm taking it in September. I didn't, uh. I didn't go anywhere in August. Why did I have, uh. Did I buy headphones that month? I might have bought headphones that month. I don't even remember. Okay. Um, anyways. I'm thinking about it, uh, but um, the weather's the weather's terrible. It's, it's May. It should be, you know, like the overnight should be around 10 anyways in May. It's going to be cold enough to snow on Saturday. So that's becoming increasingly unlikely altogether. Like, like if it's an excuse to go dancing, then I need to have the weather cooperate. And if the weather's not going to cooperate, then I'm not going to go at all. And that's going to... That was the expensive night. If I cut that out all together, then it's going to open up opportunities for the rest of the month. That's the likely outcome. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm cleaning today. Um... I need to get a start on calling some doctors, but it's probably not going to be until uh, either tomorrow or more likely Thursday. Um, right now, right now my focus today is cleaning, and we'll worry about other stuff after that. Out of all the things I've done down here so far, the most effective has been vacuuming. Um, and while I'm sure I picked up quite a bit, of, you know, just like particles and shit on on the. Uh, on the uh, out of the carpet. I mean, carpets are bad for smells, right? I'm sure it helped, but I think that probably the main reason why it, it was so effective vacuuming here, I mean, it's just standing in here, right? Is that um, it created so much heat, right? Uh, vacuums, and this vacuum in particular throws off well, we've seen it in the thermostat. The vacuum can take the temperature of the room in there up 10 degrees. It doesn't last, of course, but it, it throws off a huge amount of heat. So, by vacuuming in here, what I did was I pushed all the shit back upstairs with the, with the, with the heat, right? Put a lot of heat, the heat rises up and it takes all the shit with it. Um, Obviously, I can't leave a vacuum running down here all the time, but um, that's an honest analysis, and I think that's the real truth of it. Um, I'm gonna um, now that I've got the fan going back up here. I'm gonna take a, take another wipe um, around uh, on the baseboards and stuff. to uh, try to get it 
So like I said, what I'm hoping is that that kind of just keeps the... Keeps it kind of moving up that way, right? It's not going to... There's still a lot down here. So to deal with what's down here, I've got to clean. So I'm hoping that the clean combined with the fan um, is at least a noticeable uh, the improvement. It's, not gonna be, it's never going to be perfect. As long as people are smoking, it's not going to be perfect, but hopefully it's a, it's a positive step. So it's a nice thing to clean there. Uh, just like I said, just take, take some wipes and go around the sides and stuff. And it seems like I'm done in here today, too. The, I'm going to try to make this uh, a part of my sort of monthly cleaning ritual. You know, doing the, doing the carpets here on the stairs and doing the walls and all that kind of thing. Um, and I'm sure I'll pick up, you know, different spots on different different runs. Like last month, it was the rail, railing here was just brutal. This month, I was noticing that that little spot up here was really dirty. And my door, the front, the front part of the door was just caked. Which is... Um, a fairly, fairly negative sign. I don't know if it's if one of the places that it's building up is my front door. Anyways, um, hopefully that's uh, good for the month. I got some uh, some Febreze on the carpet, right? Um, because like I, I'm, I'm pretty sure the biggest thing was just like the heat, right? And that's kind of a secret, secret weapon for vacuuming, or a secret, secret reason to vacuum on a more regular basis. But um, at the same time, I'm, I'm sure the carpet is not, is not helping anyways. So, uh, you know, if I sprayed the carpet with a little bit of Febreze once in a while, hopefully that'll uh, help get that out of there. Um, take forever. I don't know what's in there. Maybe put some baking soda down on it. I need to run these things by the landlord first. Anyways, I think I'm done in here for the month. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how effective it is. Hopefully, it's good. Oh, and I'm also taking advantage of the situation up there to do a total air turnover in here, so I've got the heat off completely. Um, it's cold enough outside. Sure, it is off completely now. Um, it's cold enough outside that. I should be able to get it kind of out, out, of, out of here kind of thing, right? So, um, and I don't, uh, the shit winds are, uh, are okay for the day. So, uh, that's kind of my, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's go full throttle on it. Let's, uh, let's really make sure we're doing a total turnover. Get all the air in here, out of here, and then uh, we can turn it back over the other way after. I wish I knew what they were doing out there, though. Anyways, uh, I got the second load of laundry in, too. I'm making good progress. Should be done uh, sometime in the afternoon, anyways. Uh, there in the truck. That's what you call a dog. Not a dog. That's a dog. It's trying to get the large dog. And it's uh it's not hot out today at all, actually, if you're curious, it's it's a cool day. Um like you'd need a sweater if you went for a walk today. It's certainly a dog, though, and the other thing about dogs is that they never think you're coming back. So that dog is currently in a paranoid fit. They, they, they're, like, unable to grasp the concept of returning, right? They see you leave, and they see you come back. But they're unable to understand that you'll come back after you leave. So they're constantly 
They're, they're in a constant state of abandonment. Maybe the dog looks a little less scary once you let it out of the truck there, but that's uh, not a dog I'd want to come face to face with from what I can see there. That's like a like a Shepherd Rottweiler or Shepherd Doberman mix. That was a guess. It's a scary looking dog. And like I say, it's, it's, it's in an agitated state right now because it thinks that it's abandoned. So. If your parents are smart, and they might not be. That's right, kids. It could very well be the case that your dad is a dumbass. And I'll be the one to call on it, too. Your dad's a dumbass. Um, hey, I'd do it. If it was true. Um, that's right, kids. Um, I think I'll the dog in here, too. If your kids, like I say, if your parents are smart, and they might not be, but if they are, they'll tell you not to approach dogs, and that's the reason why. Because when a dog is left anywhere, it thinks that it's, it thinks it's abandoned, always. Under all scenarios, the dog will always think it's being abandoned. It will never understand. And so you should never approach it. And like I say, that one... That one's particularly creepy looking. Almost enough to have me close the window. Not quite though. It's turning over. Well, I even got the fan off. I've been back and forth there, and actually, something really nice happened. I smelled the coffee. I just made some coffee. And what could I smell in the hall? Coffee. That's a big change. And it's a welcome change. Maybe I'll just make coffee all the time. Hold on. So I, I don't even know why my coffee happens. Like, I drink so much less coffee than I used to, and I don't even know why. Maybe if I drink more coffee, you know, it'll help. It'll smell it. How about that? Okay. I think I've got the air turned over in here. It's cold out. It's like 10 degrees out. Um, so it was actually pretty quick. Um, it went from about 25 degrees in here to about 21 degrees in here. Uh, and well, it, it, it was more like 26, 27 degrees in here to about 19, 20 degrees in here. And what, four hours? Five hours? I've got the carpet deodorizer out there with the fans running. I gotta take my pants in. Uh, last load of laundry. Um, I've got a couple of kiwi containers. And a little later tonight, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna put some coal in these and put it in the, in the back room. I'm gonna wait a bit. Um, coal has no smell. They won't even know it's there. Um, so that's that. Um, I still need to vacuum in there. And, and generally clean in there. In fact, let's, uh... Well, I've got, uh... I'm, I'm not a cleaner in here yet, so... Let's, uh... Let keep the heat off until I am. Is it raining? I don't think it's going to. I hope it does. Um, that would be great. Um... Yeah, I just need to do, uh, do a vacuum and whatever and then here. And in fact, uh, are we going to do... Yeah, we should do a bag. Dishes. But I think it... I think the uh, air is... Uh, it feels, um... Still... It, it feels... Like, the air feels clean in here for the first time in a long time. You know? Like, you can... You can tell when the air feels clean. I'll just put it to you that way. Hopefully... 
Um, hopefully I'll be able to um, get back to my normal cycle, which is, well, I mean, I gotta... Do I have cash for that this month? It's only five dollars, right? Let's see what I can find. Um, no, I, I should prioritize that. I mean, if I can find, like I said, if I can find something for five bucks or a couple for ten bucks, you know, it's and it's a, it's it's the biggest deal there is, right? So, um, then I can get back to my normal routine, which for me operates like I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna get something to eat. While I'm while I'm getting something to eat, I'm gonna turn the heat up. Most of the time, that's actually late at night. And then I'll turn the heat off for the rest of the day, right? So the heat's only on for a couple of hours. If I can keep keep the shit out of here, then I can do that. The reason I've had the heat on is to, uh, to keep the smoke out. And it was the only the only tactic I had, right? In fact, in fact, I think that the uh, fans are working better the way they are than they ever did previously. I just need to make it a habit to clean in there, you know, maybe even every couple of weeks, um, with, with a special focus on the carpet. And I think that, uh, that'll probably, you know, I mean, we're, we're not going to get any more, like, super cold days, right? We're not going to get any more, like, minus 10 days. So even if it is, like, a little cooler on the other side of the wall here, right? I mean, even even if it's, like, 10 degrees on the other side of the wall. The difference between, you know, it'll be 20 degrees upstairs and 10 degrees in the hallway. That's not the same thing as it being 20 degrees upstairs and minus 5 in the hallway. We're close to it, right? In fact, even suggesting that it'll be 10 degrees in the hallway is unlikely. It'll be more like it'll be 20 degrees upstairs and 17 degrees in the hallway. 15 degrees in the hallway, right? And then you're not getting that big temperature gradient. And so the thing that was creating the problem has largely gone away, right? On top of that, they're going to have their air conditioner running, right? And when that happens, it'll be colder upstairs than it is downstairs. Which brings us back to a kind of a normal situation, right? I may be able to even get away with turning the fan off in a few weeks. The long range isn't helping us. We're having a, we're having a cold May. They, 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 forecast, they told us it was going to be a, a warm spring. And it, um, we've had a couple of warm days here and there, but we seem to be stuck behind some kind of, some kind of block or something because it's cold. Um, and, and, and the long-term forecasts, um, is suggesting that, I mean, it's not, like I say, it's not getting cold, cold, but it's not, it's not warming up. So, you know, and the longer we're in, the, lo the longer the temperature remains the way it is, we're in a kind of a, we're in a kind of a purgatory with a resolution to this, right? I see the air the air feels clean in here. The fan's still off in there, and I'm not going to be able to finish you know the cleaning, including the shower. I mean, like a shower when the fan comes back in. Right? Um, that's, that's kind of important. And I have to hope that uh, it doesn't stay out so long that it uh, negates the entire uh, purpose of, uh, of everything I'm doing. But I mean, the smelliest thing right now is my shirt. And even then, it's mostly, that's a, it's more of a more of a musty odor than anything else. I don't, uh, 
I never wear this shirt. This is a laundry shirt. So, it's, uh, never wear it in the shows. I could be completely wrong. And if I am, what's going to happen is that all the smoke's going to fall and I'll have to crank the heat back up again. We'll just have to see what happens in white. And react. But I think... I mean, it was always, it was always the fans that were the, you know... The fans did a good job most of the time. The thing the fans couldn't resolve was the temperature gradient. And I think we're probably good for the rest of the year. Like, we're not going to have any more minus 20 days until, you know, next December anyways. And it's those, those brutally cold days that are... It, it's the brutally cold days that overpower the fan. So, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty pretty confident that we're good for the year. But, as I always say, we'll have to find out. Like I said, I've got the other room to do. Stuff in the kitchen. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna do the bag. I gotta eat today too. I'm hungry. Um, for some reason, my hands. It might be it might be the soap. This new soap I'm using. It's antibacterial soap. There's no. I'm used to using. I gotta wonder. I bought this. I was gonna bring it back. I never did. Um, it's not antibacterial. And so I bought some antibacterial instead. I gotta wonder maybe if I... If I mix them? If you mix soap, is there a possibility of... creating something toxic if you mix soap up. <laughs> Actually, my battery's dead. I might have to wait for a bit. I'm going to throw that out anyways. Yeah, I'm going to mix it, so... It'll be half antibacterial, half that. Maybe it'll... It's just my hands, they... They're kind of dry, but it's more just that there's this kind of smell on my hands that doesn't go away. I think it's a soap, though. Okay. We'll try that, too. I need the fan to come back before I can finish cleaning for good. She said she'd do it today, so hopefully she does. I'm almost done eating. I get from upstairs to go walk through here. I put the light off, but I'm in the uh, I'm in the front hallway here. Um, with a broomstick, and proceeded to sweep from the top down. Now there's no carpet on those stairs, so I guess I guess somebody. I taught her at some point that the way that you sweep the stairs is that you start at the top and then you sweep down each stair until you get to the bottom, which is great if your stairs are tile, wood, uh, just about anything except for carpet, which is what these stairs here are. So we got all of the dirt from upstairs all over my clean carpets. So I had to revacuum. 
and a reefer breeze on top of that. Um, probably works out for the best because it's probably a good idea. Anyways, at least this time. Keep it at a once a month application. It'll probably be fine in the long run. For now, I think doing it twice is probably not really a good idea. So, it's done. I'm almost done eating. Um, I stopped because I didn't want to. I didn't. I didn't want it even to sit for a second. I did it right away. Um, the fan in the back. Uh, the old property guy, the old owner, slash new superintendent. Um, he's an electrician, so apparently it falls under his uh, jurisdiction here. Um, they're trying to tell me that it's the fan is broken, but I mean, watch. If that's a broken fan, that fan is I'm broken. Looks to me like the electrical's cut somewhere. They're suggesting I might have blown a fuse or something, but I mean, that, that doesn't make any sense to me at all. So, <laughs> um, I'm not getting any. Maybe, maybe they just want to replace my fan, and they don't want to. They don't want to tell me. <laughs> what they're telling me doesn't make any sense. So, anyways, um, I am gonna have to shower tonight, one way or another. So. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm about to think, I think I am done eating. We're just gonna put that away. And, uh, my laptop. My laptop's got some problems. The fan on my laptop won't turn on. So, I'm trying to copy some information away from it. And, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I think we're. Gonna, I think I'm gonna turn it off for a little while and uh, see where it goes from there. To piss off, but if I lose that laptop, I mean, uh, well, I don't want to go back online with this one. With all the uh, all the issues I'm having, I don't want to do it. So maybe I could try flashing my BIOS. I don't know. Uh, fans don't just stop, do they? Well, I mean, that's, that's... You know what? My system fan stopped. My bathroom fan stopped. Mm. Kind of weird, huh? Done eating. Let's go from here. But that whole sweeping, sweeping dirty dust under the carpet thing, that's what happens when you're retarded. You need someone to tell you not to do that. If you can't figure that out on your own. It's just an observation. A truthful one. Something to keep in mind. So we have another bag update, um, and it's going to have to be brief because there's not, not, not a lot of space left in here. Um, I put a third bag around it. Um, it's not really fitting well, um, and it may come off in the end. What am I putting in there today? we got four bags of chips, two produce bags, sorry, three produce bags. No, sorry. No, yeah, that's right. Three produce bags. And a salami bag, two containers of cheese, um, and a bunch of um, dryer sheets, and I've got the stickers. I don't have a lot of battery space, so we're going to stop and start here, and uh, we'll show the uh, bag again. As you can see, there's a... Uh, the bag's days are numbered, but, uh, what, it's the end of April? We're going to make it to the summer, I can be sure of that. Beyond that, we're not sure. That's a year and a half. 
one plastic bag worth of garbage in a year and a half. Where did these statistics come from that we use? These huge amounts of... That will crush down even smaller than that. It's a year and a half with the garbage. I'm not joking. Anyways, like I said, let me get it in there and we'll talk. Okay, so that was minor, and as we can see, there's no noticeable change to the bag. Um, we've got a little bit of PDEs, partial differential equations, coming up underneath the complex analysis of the Gaudel Escherbach. Hajol is biting his tongue on the side. And, uh, I was going to say Stephen Hawking is walking around, but I stopped myself from saying it. And then said it anyways. My battery's dead. Behold the bag. It's still going. Alright, I'm done. I just need to take a shower. And I'm filling up my water. I figure out something to do with my computer, which reeks. Like, it's it's not... It's just finally telling me the fan isn't running, but I don't think the fan's been running for a while or hasn't been running properly for a long time, or I don't know. A needle. I put my needle on my dresser. And I should have known better because I can't find it. So, sewing those pants back together is going to... I'll need to get some more needles. And if I'm going to get some more needles, I'll probably pick up some different colored thread because all I have is black. I don't know what the plan is after... I mean, I will. I'm going to take a shower and take a look at this thing and figure out what it is I'm going to do about it. Because I don't know. I have to research the error message. This is potentially serious because... Um, I mean, I could always go back to my desktop, but I don't want to. I can get a new hard drive in there. I don't know if I can get a new fan in here. And if I can, I don't, I don't really know how to install it. And it'll probably cost a lot. So, I don't know. Let me look into it, and we'll see. That's tonight. And it could be, could be very bad news, we'll find out. And by the way, it's only been a day, but as of right now, I'm convinced this is working. And quite well. Go a little longer, see what happens. Okay, so <clears throat> I use the computer with the bad fan to go on the internet and find out that it's probably dirty. And I can probably just unscrew the back and wipe it off a little. Hopefully that's easy hopefully it's that easy. If not I probably don't have to replace it. I just need to determine if I'm comfortable enough cleaning it. And I probably am. Um, when I worked tech support for HP, my job was to read... Uh, was to walk people through things over the phone, right? So I didn't actually do any of it myself. Um, and it's one thing to know how to do something in your mind, and it's another thing to actually do it, right? And that's... I, I'm not... I'm good with my brain, I'm not so good with my hands. So, let's give this a try and see what I can do. Um, being good with your brain knows when, it means you know when you're beat. Um, I've fucked up some things in the past, but um, there were situations where, where things were too far gone. Um, a fan here, it, it should be nothing. And I'm gonna be very cautious. I, I'm sure I'm sure it'll be fine. It's just a question of whether I can do this tonight or not. We'll find out, huh? <clears throat> well, I'm not quite sure why that didn't. Uh... Ugh. Okay. I'm not sure how many takes this is here now. But there we are. So, like I say, um. That just shut off. I, I may have forgot to press record the last time. That might be it. And so it just turned itself off. Um, 
I found this thing. Over, over there. I was looking for a screwdriver for the laptop, which is what I was doing. And I said, I know where there's a screwdriver. There's a screwdriver in the case for my guitar. It turns out there wasn't. Um, but I hadn't seen it in a while, and I thought, geez. It, it, it's kind of a travesty that I haven't seen this in a while. Considering that this is what I enjoy doing more than anything else. So why haven't I been doing it? See, here's the irony. Is that all of the other things I've been doing, the reason I've been doing it is because I've been trying to be disciplined and do work. <laughs> I'm not getting much done, am I? That sounds like a lot more fun, doesn't it? I don't know. This is my life as I get stuck in these things, right? I should be I should be fucking with this. Why aren't I? I don't know. I actually even got a math degree. Why oh, wasn't I fucking with this? I mean, don't get me wrong, math is useful and everything, but... I'm too rusty for that right now. I shouldn't do that unless I can. I spent the last hour in fact, it's probably even more like two hours. <laughs> um, reacquainting with myself with my best friend here. Um, it's been far too long. And teaching myself how to play a song that I wrote a long time ago and never recorded and should have recorded. But um, if I'm vlogging nowadays, this is what I'm doing. So I, I guess it makes sense to vlog myself playing guitar for a little while. So I wrote the song in like 2006 or something. And it doesn't have a title. Um, th there's a loose idea, but I'm not even going to it. Um, it's the third track on a record that was mentally constructed years ago, but does not exist in the world that we live in. Yeah. It will. If I live long enough to do it. Anyways.
Don't mistake all of these. Dirty chords for mistakes though. It sounds roughly correct.
it's meant to fade out. <clears throat> ah, those are... That is the guitar with the light strings. Um, I have a black guitar with jazz strings on them. Um, these are not, like I said, these are 11s. The jazz, jazz guitar is 13s. I have an old beat to shit, uh, Strat copy. The wiring's broken in it. I was intending on that to be a kind of super low gauge. Um, but broadly speaking, I, I like thick strings, it's just... And you can see how it sounds it sounds great with thick strings, right? And I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a jazz guitarist, obviously, right? It's, it's clear as day, I need thick strings to get the sound out, right? Um, but it means that you gotta play more than once a year. It's a good thing I have a good memory, because that's a complicated song. <laughs> um, and uh, it's actually kind of amazing that I remembered how to play it at all. Anyways, um, I gotta play you more often. I gotta get back to, you know. I gotta fix my computer. This model of HP was supposed to provide me access to the fan by taking the keyboard off. As you can see, I've got an extra layer of plastic here. It sure is filthy, though. It's easy enough to see what's going on. It's just... How do I actually open it up? I'm gonna need to, uh... I mean, look at all the hair in here. It's 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 just filthy. Um, I guess you'd expect that after a certain amount of time, right? But still, it's still uh, an eye opening to actually see it. I'm gonna have to uh, put a whole bunch of screws here. It looks like that piece comes right off. I don't know though. I think the worst thing that can happen is that I take the screws out and I put the screws back in, right? It just, it looks like it's just a piece of plastic. Probably designed to keep dust out, and we see how that, we see how well that's worked, right? I don't wonder even if, like, is this tobacco smoke stuck in here? I didn't, it doesn't really make sense, because I didn't really bring this laptop anywhere that was full of tobacco smoke. I went from my dad's place to here. But I mean, like, you can smell the dust on it. I should have waited a shower. Anyways. Um. I guess worst case scenario, I can get the, I can get the hard drive out of there. But, uh, I don't want to do that either. It still boots. I mean, now it's telling me the BIOS is fucked, which is like... I can flash the BIOS, but... I 
it makes sense for me to think it's dirty because it's been emitting foul odors. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna open this up and see. Oh, this might be a bad idea, but we'll find it. Alright, so this is confirmed. I have to actually disassemble the entire laptop in order to get the fan out. Why the hell would they design it that way? <laughs> well, I can tell you why they designed it that way. It's so that you don't disassemble the fan to clean it. It's so that when your fan is dirty, you buy a new computer. That's why they do it that way, right? I, I'm not going to be buying a new computer. Um, so, we're going to have to take this right apart. Um, the part that worries me is the ribbons. Everything else will be fine. I'll just have to be careful. I'm sure it'll be okay. I don't, I don't. I don't have a choice. I don't. I, I can't let this sit here like the way it is. Um, I gotta get that in there. I gotta, I gotta get in there and clean it because I mean, even if. Even if it runs, like it, it's emitting a really bad smell, and it's not good for anything. So I gotta, I have to fix this. Completely disassemble. I gotta take the CD out, hard drive out, RAM out, everything. Shrug. So I got all the way down to the one piece fan and heat sink. Am I going to be able to put this back together again? Sure hope so. <laughs> um, and I don't think you can even see it, but there's a big pile of dust in there. And as far as I can see from looking at it, there might be one on the other side too. It's just a couple of chunks of dust seem to have blocked it. So, let's uh, see if I can get that dust out of there, and then go from there. Yeah. That is the culprit. That was in here. And I wonder it didn't spin. Now if I blow on it, it spins, so. It's got to be good enough. And so long as I'm able to put it all back together again and get power, I think I'm good. Um, I wish I didn't have to do this. This is this is a crazy design. I actually had to take apart the heat sink to clean the fan. That is that is preposterous. <laughs> like it, it, it's clearly designed so that you can't service it and that's really shitty so this is a this is a hex on hp this is a you know what it is what it is is shabby this is shabby guys shabby They're shabby i have no power i suppose there's a possibility that i didn't plug something in. So now I'll have to take it all apart again. Let's see if I can find what it is. If that's what it is. If it's something else, I'm in more trouble. There's nothing I can see that should have been connected. The only thing I can think of is that <clears throat> maybe I need to have certain screws in place to ground it. I'm going to go to sleep.
I didn't break anything. I didn't lose anything. All of the connections make sense to me. I don't know why this would happen. I'm going to have to bring in the 90s laptop to check to see if this is a known issue and there are specific screws I need to look at. What happens if this is out? I should be able to get what I want off the hard drive. Probably the easiest thing for me to do, if this is out, would be for me to put the hard drive into the other machine. If it fits. That's why I'm going to see if I can do that right now. Because that would be the easiest way to get back on the internet to research the answer. I can't remember if I have a 32 or a 64 bit processor in the other machine. It's a 64-bit OS. I want to find that. I'll boot it anyways. Um, I picked this machine up. I don't know when it was, like 2007-ish. 2008 maybe. That would have been 2009 for sure. Yeah. yeah. It was referred to refurbished and it was cheap because it was refurbished. Um, the battery does not work. Besides that, um, well, I mean, the, the hard drive was skitzy, and it's not as fast. I don't remember, is this? A 64, well, I mean, it loaded, so it must be 64, right? Unless it loaded to... It wouldn't do that, would it? It wouldn't load to 32 if it's a 64-bit processor. Yeah, it's a 64-bit OS. Huh? It's going to force me to reactivate. Okay. Now what that means is I gotta put this back where it was. Um, all right. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this to sleep, right? I'll put it all to sleep. I need to go to sleep. That's why. Put you to sleep because I have to go to sleep.
the socks but why I don't like um Sometimes you just have to sleep, right? I'll take a look at this when I wake up. The show tomorrow. I intend to go. It's like five. It's in a sad state, huh? There's no logic to this, like, it doesn't... I say I didn't break anything, I didn't unplug anything. I don't think I did. The only thing I can think of is that there's some screws, or I'm, I don't I don't have the right screws plugged in, and I gotta find, like, a... I have these, uh... Oh, plans these uh, device plans when I was working there. I can't, I can't remember, I'm half asleep, I can't remember what they're called, but they're easy enough to find. Ugh. You saw what I pulled out of there. I didn't have a choice. And what, what, what could have happened? Like resod or something like like I, I can't even imagine what's broken. That's the thing. It's gotta be it's gotta be some kind of it, it, it doesn't want to turn on because it doesn't it can't find the it can't find the ground or something. It's just no power. It's just like push the power, nothing happens. I'll look it up when I wake up.